Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this bullshit. So, two people left. She's at 2,000 health. I have, like, pretty full health. This is the worst. Please die. Please fucking die. So, um, remember I said I had to go to class last time? I left this shit on when I was in class, and it stayed on. So, fuck yeah. Please kill her. Please kill her right here. Do it right here. Do it right fucking here. Yes! And you ain't getting me with poison bullshit this time, you fucking cunt. Christ. That was nightmarish. Hey, good. You look good on you, Kevin. You leveled up. That better be the last fucking fight in this boss fight chain. Otherwise, I am gonna chop someone's balls off. I'm not sure whose. But that better be it. Because fuck me. This, I've been doing this shit all fucking day. <laughs> Colonel, forgive me. <laughs> that is the end of it. I think my legs are gonna fall off. Well, we did fight her and a tank back to back, you know. It was some fucking bullshit. I think the game developer was a piece of shit during this moment. Oh, well. We did it, huh? Is it over? Man, said man's voice. Oh, it's the Duke. Duke Doug? Oh, hey. They threw you in the tank, huh? Well, yes. Oh, God. Well, my sore throat. This will be fun. For once, brigand, it seems I actually need to be thankful of your violent, lawless ways. As proof of my gratitude, I shall bestow upon you a magnificent work of art for my private collection. Uh, I think I'll pass, thanks. I am so glad this bullshit is over. Still, I never thought I'd hear gratitude from. Wait, Renee! Is Renee safe? What is this now? Who or what is a Renee? A girl wearing a white dress. Isn't she in the tank? I was the only one inside. All right, you, where's Renee? Where are they keeping her? Tell me! What? What are you? You really think you can play dumb at this point? The girl, the one you kidnapped from the Gill House. Tell me where she is. Kidnapped? Girl? I see. So that was the plan all along. What? <laughs> what in the... Kanoe, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? Everything! How can I not laugh at myself? I, Kanoe Amelthia, Captain of the Intelligence Division. I, the author of this plan to restore the Colonel to glory. I was played like a fiddle by a little girl. Hee <laughs> how rude of you to call me, oh my god. The fucking crazy dude was Renee all along, wasn't he? How rude of you to call me a little girl. It's the fucking crazy dude. It's the crazy dude. <gasps> um. Hee <laughs> hee, good evening. Isn't the moon lovely tonight? Did everyone enjoy the tea party? I thought the explosions and screams were the best myself. Oh, shit. A kid? Renee? What are you doing, Renee? Climbing all the way up there. It's dangerous up there, you know? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, Renee, you really are like a cat. Okay, I'll climb up to help you down. Just wait a sec. Hee hee, there's no need. After all, this is the best seat. Only fitting for a master of the tea party, right? What? Check out that weapon. Jesus, fuck. Enforcer number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. Oh god, so she's not even the crazy dude. She's somebody else entirely. That's me, and I am Renee. What? No. No. This is insane! A small child like that is a member of Ouroboros? Hee <laughs> silly lady. There are no children or adults in the Grandmaster's sight. Just useful people and useless people. And I, Lady Renee, am very useful. Just like the Black Fang used to be. What? So then hang on. You're the one who sent me that letter, right? <laughs> that was me. Nice thre nine threatening letters. One letter to the churchman, one to the traitor lady, and one to Estelle. Twelve letters in all. Feels <laughs> feels like all I did was write, write, write. I bet even Lowe would com uh, compliment my handwriting now. So you staged the whole thing. Well, I'm the one who organized the tea party, you know. I couldn't let my guests be bored, could I? I worked really hard to make this fun. But, but then, what about your papa, your mama, your mama? Where are your parents? Huh? Oh, wait. You never, ever realized. I must be really good at this. Either that or you're just that dumb. Wait a minute, who are you calling dumb? Don't be angry, Estelle. You meant these, right? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <gasps> oh. They are my papa and mama, silly. I'm actually done with them, so let's break them. What? What? You, you. 
What did you do? Estelle, calm down. There's no blood. What? Oh, you're right. Huh? Society manufactured horrible puppets. They look just like humans. How are they even... They don't act like people when I'm not around, though. I'm pretty sure I'm at least as good as Pedro from the Doll Knight. Oh, but this time I got kidnapped and had to be the master of a tea party. Sound more like Princess Tia, huh? Princess Renee has a nice ring to it. Of all the things to joke about. Oh, but you asked about Mama and Papa, right, Estelle? Let's call Princess Renee's real Mama and Papa now. Pater made her come. What? Please be like some kind of horrific sea monster. Or something. What's happening? What is that sound? From above, look out! Oh! It's a fucking Gundam. What the fuck? Yeah! It's huge! The heck is that? If I have to fight this thing, I'm gonna fucking quit. I will quit right now. I am not doing five boss fights in a row, or that would be one, that'd be two, three boss fights in a row. Oh man, the gospel! Okay, yeah, just go. I don't give a care, just go. This is my pater mater. As big as any papa, and as kind as any mama. I don't need any other papa or mama. There, ahead! Whoa, what the fuck is that thing? That's Shazard and everybody, isn't it? Yeah, I fucking, where the hell were you fuckers two boss fights ago, you complete cocks? Oh god, we got some textures broken down there. Sid's having some trouble. Some kind of giant thingy? This is impossible. What's going on here? Renee? Everyone. Hee <laughs> hee. Yay, the sleeping medicine wore off just when it was supposed to. Just like Joshua taught me a long time ago. Joshua, how do you... You know, I'm just gonna gut you like a fish and... I was just gonna gut you like a fish and rip your heart out on the end of this, Estelle. After all, the professor says you're the reason Joshua won't come back. It's your fault. What? But I really, really had a lot of fun, so I think I can forgive you for now. But only this once, okay? Hee <laughs> hee. Wait, Renee! Renee, what's going on? Bye bye, Tina. I did have fun with you. Maybe we can share ice cream again someday. Well, everyone, thank you for attending the tea party. Ciao. Although the fact that this tea party had no tea, that's some bullshit. That might be the biggest amount of bullshit after all these boss fights. That's some bullshit. I'm so glad this part of the game is over. Holy goddamn fuck. I am so happy. What a day this turned out to be. Jesus Christ. It is still Monday. It is still Monday. Oh my sweet Jesus Christ God. <sighs> Renee! I'm gonna have to kill her at some point, aren't I? That's gonna be fun. The Royal Army spent the night searching with an entire airship squadron, but they could not find the massive Orbal doll nor the girl who rode off on it. The next day. It's Amelthia. Captain Amelthia, please, won't you cooperate with us? What kind of relationship did you have with that girl? And what do you know of the Society of Ouroboros? Dot, dot, dot. Captain Amelthia, Kanoe, stop being stubborn. At this point, you're making things worse for yourself. Not only for yourself, but for your men as well. Can't believe that's what you'd want, is it? <laughs> we all went into this prepared to lay down our lives. You need to come up with a better threat than that, Captain Suarez. Stop trying to play the martyr! You saw it the same as any of us, the gigantic orbal weapon. Do you not understand what an organization which can field such a thing can, has infiltrated the kingdom? How can you not understand the gravity of the situation? Dot, dot, dot. Captain Amalthea, Colonel Rickards is, in many ways, a lover of liberal. He wished for us to be able to stand independently against any threat we could ever face. I know he wanted that, if nothing else. And now dark clouds gather in the skies above us. Can you not consider what he would do in this situ- Silence. Hmm? Silence, you pests! How dare you speak so casually of the colonel's feelings. You dogs gained your new oh-so-exalted positions by engineering his fall. Kanoe, would you... Oh, I have plenty to say to you too, Julia. You must be relishing every second of this, watching your longtime rival falling so far. Well, laugh then! Laugh and gloat to your heart's content. That's enough, Kanoe. I've crawled through filth and given all of myself to the realization of the Colonel's dreams. Now that I've failed, I no longer have a reason to live. So come on then, drag me into the firing line, let's get this over with. That's a foolish thing to say, Kanoe. Is it the Colonel? Oh, it's Sid. Oh, God, it's Colonel Bright. Pardon me! General! General, why are you? I needed to see to speak Her Majesty about something related to our most recent case. I had some other business as well, so I thought I'd stop by. I only arrived in Gransel a few hours ago. 
I see. Thank you for your help when you're so busy, sir. Cassius Bright, the author of all our suffering. You've come to gloat over my fault too, have you? Here to have, or here to see me riddled with gunfire? Well, I certainly seem to be popular today. And here I was thinking I was actually as much of a lady killer as Richards. Sigh. How dare you! You! If it wasn't for you, the colonel, he would have... Ah, uh, Cassius. I know you mean it in good fun, but no teaser too much, yes? And it's... What? That was... How on earth? Oh my god, it's the colonel. What the fuck was his voice? Colonel? Colonel Rickards? It's been some time, sir. Oh god, I don't remember his fucking voice. Uh, oh shit. Oh god. Oh, I know he had one. I didn't think he'd come back. All right. Yes, it has. Mid uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Sid, Captain Suarez, and it's good to see you safe as well, Kanoe. Sir, I begged General Bright to allow me to leave myself for a little while so that I could visit. You see, I have something I absolutely must say to you, Kanoe. To me? Yes. I I'm sorry, Kanoe. I am so very sorry. I wrapped you up in my pride and narrow vision. I forced many bright young officers to shoulder the burden of terrible criminal deeds. I've wanted to apologize to all of you for a while now. No, sir, no! You forced us into nothing! We followed you freely! No. No, you didn't. Even if you think you followed of your own will, in the end I pressured you into following my desires. The responsibility is mine alone. This makes what happened this past night my responsibility as well. S sir, no. So let me make a declaration. As of this moment, the Royal Army Intelligence Division is formally disbanded. All further functions and duties are to be taken up by Army Headquarters. All former staff should be should give Headquarters all due assistance. Kanoe, Captain Amelthia, thank you for leading my division in my absence until now. Sir! With all that said, you no longer need to do crazy things like this any longer. You don't need to spend your life attempting to rescue me. So please, don't say such terrible things as bring me before the firing line. Please. Colonel, sir. Alan. Uh. <laughs> I don't remember his voice. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. I'll, I'll go back and check out some of the videos and so I can remember his voice. I just gave him a generic one for now. I see. Yes. Understood. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Hold on, how'd it go? Seems as though Miss Amalthy is willing to answer questions. The army said they were contacted to go when they had something useful. Well, that's good. So stubborn old mules found willing to spill her guts. Wonder what kind of trick they used. We can leave that to the army, I think. We have some things of our own to talk over. True enough. Well then, first allow me to provide you with your pay for this mission. It better be like 18 billion dollars for the bullshit I had to go through to complete this fucking... Fuck! This includes everything from all the small related tasks you have undertaken as well. Receive payment for lost child, 2,000. Alright. F class. Search Renee, 1,000. F class. Attending the tea party, 5,000. F class. Hey, Estelle. Do you really think Renee could be... Yeah. She named herself one of the enforcers, the Angel of Slaughter. Which, for the record, is a fucking cool-ass name. If she's calling herself that, there's really no any doubt. There isn't, is there? Dot, dot, dot. Seriously, a little girl like that is one of the society's crazy murderer goons? Aren't enforcers supposed to be, like, able to, like, I don't know, break you with their pinky? You really don't think they're pulling some kind of trick here? No, I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth. Joshua. Joshua was about Renee's age when Dad rescued him from the society. And when he told uh, me he was made to kill uh, way before even then. You're kidding. Either way, that girl pulled one o uh, Either way, that girl pulled one over on us. She probably gave Amelthia the gospel and suggested they get crazy with that damn tank. She seems to have been the source of the letters as well. Can't fathom why, though. I'm just guessing here, but maybe she thought it'd be fun? Huh? Renee put this experiment of hers together as a tea party, right? What is it in Sherlock? That they're looking for distractions? You know? And she set things up so lots of people, especially us, would participate. Sort of like an invitation. It's the kind of feeling I get. For the love of fucking ideas. We are, ah, we are here thanks to those letters, but to orchestrate all just for our amusement? I could easily believe a little kitten is capable of such guile. She was, after all, very clever in balancing the amount of sleeping drugs she gave us gave to us as well. Which means she wanted us to arrive at the docks just at the right time. That takes serious planning. So she's definitely the one who put you guys to sleep? Almost certainly. It was just after I ate one of those cur cookies Renee got for us at the department store. But that's when my mind went fuzzy. That was one hell, hell of a failure on our part. If she used poison, most of us would be having this conversation at the side of she who dwells above. Yeah. The failure is entirely my own. As the person in charge of missions in the guild, I, sh I should have been far more cautious. Please forgive me. Oh, come on, Elnon. 
everybody got a bit of blame for this. I don't think any one of us just realized just how far the society was willing to go. Yeah, that giant arcanism. Ar arcanism? Uh, even Grandpa would have a really hard time making something like that. Even then, to, to make it move like that. And Renee. Oh, Tina. Come on, cheer up. Next time we see her, I'm dragging her out of society feet first, and I'm gonna put her in hell myself. What? Uh, Estelle, five years ago, Dad rescued Joshua from the clutches of Ouroboros, and we taught him what it was to be happy. I'm Cassius's bright daughter, so you know what? I can totally do the same thing. I'm gonna drag Renee out of the society of Ouroboros by the scruff of her neck, and I have to, and I'm gonna snap it in half. Estelle. Yeah, yeah, we will. That's our Estelle. Wanting to murder children. Ah, the spirit. Ah, such indomitable optimism. You're making it sound easy, Estelle. That's just how our Estelle is. Thinking your father would be bowled over by that much optimism. Man, I'll say. I'm practicing head over here for you. Uh, I've been talking all day. Man, I'll say. I'm practically head over heels for you at this point. Is it Cassius? Oh, it's Kevin. Damn it. I gave him Cassius' voice. Oh. Father Kevin, we've been waiting for you. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Archbishop Current was uh, not exactly thrilled with me. He got on a real good lecture and terror, uh, lecture tear, so he held me back a bit. Da, 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 da. What's up? Do I have egg on my face or something? Oh, so you aren't an Ouroboros skull eater or whatever. But you never did answer my question. Who the hell are you really, Kevin? Yeah, good point. You've been kind of good at dodging that particular question, father. You aren't really just some wandering priest, right? I did promise I'd explain everything to you, Estelle, right? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Kevin Graham, and I am a priest, but I'm a priest of the Growls, Growls Rider of the Septian Church. I'm a pleasure to properly meet you all. A uh, Growls Rider? That sounds German. Um, Growls Rider. Oh, beg your pardon, but I would never imagine someone as young as you to be one of the holy Growls Rider. Olivia, you know who they are? You are aware that the church has a duty to take custody of all ancient Zerumian artifacts, yes? Investigations and retrieval of such items is the work of an arm of the church called the Growls Rider! Or Grail Knights. Their member list is not public knowledge, but they are said to be artifact experts and combat masters to a man. Dang, you uh, know a lot about us. I know if you ever call me a master, though. I'm kind of the fresh-faced new guy on the team. Artifact retrieval? Oh, now I get it. That's why you had Mayor Dalmer's staff. Yep. Uh, the Royal Army gave me that for safekeeping when I first came to Liberal. Liberal and the church have an agreement to hand over all artifacts found, you see. The whole reason Archbishop Current was, uh, kind of ticked off is because I broke that one, mind you. Now I see. I hope he wasn't too angry. You really saved us, and there wasn't any other way. Yeah, we didn't have time to be what I'd call choosy. Yeah, thanks for that. Anyway, well, hopefully we can work together a bit more in the future, huh? If you learn anything about Ouroboros, let's swap info again. Say, how do you know about Ouroboros anyway? Well, the main reason I came to Liberal was to investigate the society. Let's just say we've known about them for a while now. And to be more precise, I came to investigate the Shining Ring, the Aurelio, that seemed to be, uh, they seemed to be after. <gasps> the Aurelio. One of the holy Septarians granted the ancient Zerumians by Adios herself. The legendary artifact that we thought slept beneath Grantsel Castle. Yeah, exactly. There have been some people asking a whole lot of specific questions about the Septarians across the entire continent. That kind of caught the church's eye, let me tell you. When we learned about the whole hullabaloo with the ruins beneath Grantsel Castle and the Aurelio doing the coup. So they sent me the fresh face and uh, the expendable new guy to see what's what. So that's the story. Hang on, you think the Aurelio really isn't liberal? We didn't find it. When we didn't find it beneath the castle, I thought it was just a legend after all. Do we even have any idea what's beyond the legendary description of the Shining Ring? Figuring out the truth of the uh, thing is part of my job. So yeah, I wanted to come by today and explain what's up. If anything more happens, what say we work together? Now I get it. Yeah, alright, I'd be happy to. It'll be a big help for us too. Yeah, I'm down with the idea. If anything comes up, give us a buzz. Fantastical! Alright, I think I gotta go get my ear chewed off some more. See ya, folks! Bye, Kevin. You're pretty cool. I like you. I am a fan of what you're putting down, buddy. Hey, he's gone. He's quite good at putting people off balance in a different way than Olivia. <laughs> if you ask me, he still needs training. He could stand to be a bit more elegant. You realize that there is exactly zero elegance in your stream of constant nonsense, right? Stream of constant nonsense. I am a fan of that. Oh, I've got to put that in my insult bank. You keep laying down in this fucking bullshit stream of constant nonsense, and I am gonna slap you silly. Sound like that. Uh, still, all this interest in an Aurelia. Do you really think that has something to do with the gospel experiments that the society has been performing? Dude, I don't fuck know. From what I've heard, it's definitely a possibility. On that note, that's three of liberals' regions that have suffered gospel-related experiments now. I don't know why Sean Connery all of a sudden. 
I fear that neither Roland nor Bose will avoid their touch at this point. Good point. Seems like things are pretty calm here now. I think it's time for us to move on, which means we should uh, get to either Roland or Bose as soon as we can. Up. Oh, cue the phone call from Bose. Hello, yes, this is the Grantsville branch of the Bracer Guild. What? Oh, I see. Understood. We'll be on our guard. Yes, take care. Something going on, Elnon? They finally get something out of their little uh, coup lover. Now this is different, though perhaps not unrelated. The Sky Bandits have appeared in Bose. Oh, that's where Joshua is. What? The Intelligence Division and the Bandits? Heck of a busy night. Where do they show up? The fort said they used a base in the Bose Canyons, apparently. The army has repurposed it as a training ground, but it seems they stole back the ship they used to uh, they used to use and escaped. You're kidding! Oh, that would be the one Moulier went to retrieve. Wait a second. Isn't this just like a really convenient timing? Does the society have a hand in this too? I can hardly deny the possibility at this point. In any case, it may be wise for you to travel to Bosch. I'll say. Good idea, probably. No way to know when these goons will hit next, so we should be on the move. Yeah. Or wait, again, you're coming along? Heh. <laughs> When the intelligence division cleaned up, my job is done. You guys are trying to climb a friggin' mountain here, so I figured I'd give you a hand. Really? Yeah, Gates, come with us. I'll be counting on the powers of the heavy blade of yours, Gate. Welcome to the team. Yeah, thanks. Finally, I can swap them out. Oh, and Elise, are you coming too? Ah, uh, sorry, I'm afraid not. Kurt's group uh, should be getting back from their training soon. I'm gonna team up with them again. All right. Team up? Does that mean you'll be working against the society too? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to look into finding their base. Their base? Giving or... Given Ouroboros' movements and actions today, they must have some sort of base of operation somewhere liberal. So we find that and take it down, this is a game of cat and mass will simply never end. I have a feeling we'll be working even more closely with the armies in the coming weeks. My throat is about to die and I can feel it. Uh, the Royal Army seems to be doubling their efforts against the society, yes. We'll need their help to put an end to all of this. It does make sense to have another anti-society team, I suppose. Well, I guess Kurt's team is probably going to need plenty of firepower too. Can't complain about them getting Annalise in that case. Ah, sorry. Once we find these snarky jerks, I'll be... I'll, um, I'm sure we'll need lots of help to beat them. We'll fight them together, okay, then. Oh, yeah, we will. Oh, my God. Speaking of secret base of operations... This sure seems like the secret base of operations. It's on the coast! How could you possibly miss this? It's a big fucking structure. Just go look for it. Like, physically, get a boat, go look for it. Ugh. Hooray! Those silly little flying machines were no match for us. Thanks, Pater Mater. You go to sleep for now, okay? Welcome back, Renee. I need to see who it is first. Oh, it's that guy. LOL! I'm back, I'm back! I went and did that experiment just like you asked. I know. You did a very good job. Get a little creative with it too, a tea party. It's because you told me not to kill anyone this time. I need to do something to make it a little less boring. And I thought a tea party would be lots of fun. And it was! We had tea and crumpets and explosions. How ladylike, Renee. So did the experiment itself go? I think it went okay. That mean guy from the church kind of spoiled it with a nasty trick. But it's fine otherwise. We can use them in real combat if we want. Very good. I thought we couldn't make lots of gospels, though. How are we going to use them uh, as weapons if we can't? Mass production of them isn't necessary. Their tests are simply to determine the full capabilities of the gospels. We ain't even trying to make a weapon out of it. Really? Well, whatever. Doesn't matter to me either way. Have you found Joshua yet? I think we have. A number of dolls were sent out to the act to act as a diversion were destroyed. It's very likely he's responsible. So he's still hiding? Aw. I'm good at playing hide and seek, but he even I'm not as good as Joshua. Mm, I hate this. Why is he being so stubborn? Why can't he just come back to the society? To us? Well. It's weird, too. The professor said it's all Estelle's fault Joshua won't come back. But she told me she's been looking for Joshua, too. Why would she say that if she's keeping Joshua from coming back to us? Renee, I wouldn't be so quick to accept everything the professor says. Huh? Truth can change depending on one's perspective. Just as how people can see different shapes on the same moon. You mean like how some people see a face and others see a crab? That's right. The professor's truth may be different from your truth. You need to reach for your own truth based on what you see and what you yourself see and feel. That is solid advice. That is solid advice. Sounds confusing, but I think I get it. I really like Estelle. I liked everyone, actually. They're nice, and they gave me snacks. Tina was fun to play with, too. I don't even feel like murdering them. Very good. Ah, You're a good girl, Renee. Hee <laughs> hee! Uh, huh. Indeed, you're a very good girl, Renee, and a very good worker. And that is... Oh, it's... Oh, it's the professor, of course. And the crazy guy. Oh, hi, professor! And Campanella! Hello there, Renee. Looks like you had a good time in Grantsville, hmm? 
Yeah, kinda. Uh, if, all, if I knew you were coming, I would have invited you. It was a lot of fun, you know. Nah, I feel bad that I missed it. I'd have put on a nice little puppet show for the big burly bracer. It wasn't nearly as enjoyable as what you did, I think. No, <laughs> perhaps you should have reserved a better seat ahead of time, Campanella. By the way, Rene, I couldn't help but over here. You said you're rather fond of Estelle? Sure am. She wasn't nearly as nasty as a person as you said, Professor. She's nice. Nah, Renee. It's not nice to put words in people's mouths. I never said she was a bad person. If anything, I agree with you. She is both a charming and fascinating young lady. I simply said she's part of the reason Joshua hasn't returned to us. Wouldn't you agree, Lowell? I wouldn't deny that she's part of the reason, yes. Well then, that should clear things up. What do you think, Renee? Given the circumstances, shouldn't we make Estelle one of our friends? What? Make Estelle one of our friends? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. She's kind of on the weak side right now, but we could teach her how to kill, right? I bet she'd be really powerful. And if Estelle joins us, Joshua will come back, right? I think it's safe to assume as much. Nah, oh, Professor, you always did have a great taste. Delicious. They're going a little too far with your jokes, Professor. Remember, all who serve the society must do so of their own free will. That is one of our core laws of Ouroboros. You need not remind me of the Grand Master's edicts, Lowe. Do you really think I, that I, an ang anguis, would break such a law? Neither you nor Joshua forced into anything, were you? In any case, breaking her would be so dissatisfying. When she joins us, it will be entirely of her own volition. Uh-oh. I'm sensing evil afoot. Please form your party. You may choose two other members aside from the mandatory members. Shit, she's a mandatory member. Oh, I can just add him to the team. Okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Uh, okay. So we need a little bit of strategy here. So, unfortunately, Estelle and Shara are single target CP users. Uh, Tina is kind of an AoE, but she's pretty weak. Um, you also have an AoE. You have the healing. And you're just a brute. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with healing. Great. Yeah, I can always change it later. Um, but I think that's what we'll stick with for now. Now that a gate is an option, feel free to let me know what the optimum team is, knowing that Estelle and Shazard are uh, core members and cannot be changed. So, you know, let me know. A gate is in the party, and I am, like I said before, I 100% agree. A gate fucking saved our ass so many times during these fights with that fucking move of his. So, I, I'm right there with you guys. I'm right there with you. But, you know, if this isn't the ideal team, I think my logic is sound here, but, you know, let me know if, like, Tina has some bullshit move that I'm not aware of. Next up, bows. If we're ready, shall we head to the port? The Royal Army is also working with the Sky Bandits case, remember? There's no pressing need for us to depart immediately for once. That's true. So let's take our time to finish up stuff and then go. I am... Hold on. Before anything... Ugh. All right. So, let's, let's look at this. 1843. 1055. 1843. Ten, it took me almost, like, eight hours. A little less. A little less than eight hours. No, wait. A little, yeah, eight, a little more than eight hours, right? It took a long-ass fucking time to grind that out. I actually think eight hours is pretty, pretty fucking close. It also took me five days to do all of that. It took me five days. Holy goddamn bald dog shit. Oh my god. I wanna I wanna buy some stuff. I wanna see if there's like any better weapons or anything like that. Actually, historically there shouldn't be. Um, but there will be in bows, if I remember correctly. That's kinda how it works. Like there will be better shit in bows, so I shouldn't even bother. I should not even bother. But you know what I will do? Is I'm gonna let my voice rest because I've been recording videos literally all day. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I am so glad we were able to do it, and I wasn't just stuck here. And I actually didn't miss a single episode. So, all in all, today, all right, today, Monday, was a fucking great day. I got so much shit done. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time where we're off to bows. Have a good one, guys.